team to say also, one, I apologize because I look a lot redder than I actually am. It's very kind of hot out. So yeah, and also I'm sorry for this. I can't seem to really fix it other than, well, I mean, I can do this, but anyways, I can't be in the vlog the whole day, so I'm sorry if it's shaky or that or whatnot. But basically, um, this is going to be kind of a, I guess, uh, witchcraft on a budget. Um, what was my, uh, <laughs> video, and basically I wanted to show you guys, um, and give you guys some advice if you haven't already seen any other probably thousands of witchcraft on the budget videos. Um, but this was mine, um, but also I love this, uh, this necklace, or I guess choker, if you will. I just fell in love with the pentagram, but yeah, I got a lot of tattoos. Anyways, uh, I just got back from the dollar store and literally all of this plus a couple other things that I will show you cost me um, about not even $29 altogether which is pretty fair for what I got because some of the stuff I'm, I'm not even going to show you because it's not really witchcraft related or whatnot. But anyways, I'm in the dollar store, you know how um, us witches or people of that sort of believe um, like to use a spell box. So I actually found these, I think they're used for like olive oil and stuff, but I thought they were nice because they have all the, you know, pork on them and stuff, and you can use them as a witch bottle, and I got, you know, uh, three of them. Also for your altar, um, I found this because I need actually a new one, um, and uh, this is a little, you know, chalice slash offering uh, cup, or chalice if you will. Um, and it's super nice, I made different colors, but I like the blue the most. Um, the reddish was more pink, so yeah. Then they also sent, uh, sell, it's not the best, but um, it's, you know, kind of like last minute. And it's not the worst scent, um, and personally I've bought this before and I like the vanilla the most. And it's a pack of Borde Vanilla Incense Sticks, and it's just kind of like, you know, if you need something, um, it works. Um, and then also the other thing I wanted to show you guys was all the candles, which was the real reason I went there. But see, I got this basket too from there, and it fits all these candles. Um, I definitely got, how much did I get? I think I got like nine packs of unscented tea leaf, tea, tea light, um, candles. And this is all for, of course, a dollar, so I'm just like stocking up on tea light candles because I go to candles very much a lot. I also got a long lighter. Um, and also it's great because they have a bunch of varieties of different candles at the dollar store. And they have, you know, the plain light comes in a pack of two paper candles. So I got that, and then I got a scent, scent, set of another pair which is kind of sort of like a reddish um, sort of fall color to it, and it's just, it's awesome, because, ah, I'm always running out of candles, and candles are expensive, as we all know, so the dollar store is your best friend as a witch, um, or a cat, Also, another thing that I don't, I can't show you, but, um, if you ever use those, basically, jars of candles, where it's, like, it's a four wick, or even just one wick, um, what you do is that, I'll just show you, this isn't a four wick, but it's just like, let's say after I use this and it's burnt down all the way, um, what you can do is you can keep the top and keep the jar, but you can also use it, um, for either, um, witch jars, or you can even use it for, um, other spells and you can keep from reusing it, and then eventually if you want to, you can even melt out the wax and reuse that, and you know, so that way you don't have to spend a ton of money on a bunch of other things if you're on the budget. And um, also, what else can you do? You can also make these into um, some incense holders, um, just like, you know, add some salt on top and stuff, like a lot of it. If there's a little bit of wax that you can't get out, that's fine, just add a little salt. Um, but basically, yeah, just do that. And then another thing is, of course, if you haven't learned this by now, is take the um, end of incense sticks and basically keep the end so you can relight candles that are kind of hard to reach and stuff if you don't have like a long lighter. Um, so I have this little like Chinese or Japanese or something little vase that I got years ago as a kid and I just put my, you know, little um, incense, little the tip of the incense sticks 
that I can keep so I can relight them uh, for areas I can't really reach. So that is it for this video. I'm sorry if I sound like crap or something <laughs> or if I look like crap and all that, but I hope this helped. I hope this helped anyone um, in the, you know, witchcraft community or if you just, you know, do this practice, whatever you want to call it, you know, I just hope I help someone. So anyways, I hope you all have a great day, month, year, birthday, weekend, whatever. Also, um, I finally opened up a Etsy shop and it's called Healing Tuesdays, so I named it after, you know, a little sketchy brief here. And for you witchy people, I have available for $35 a painting that I did of a god, um, I should specify the moon goddess and the horn god, um, and it's kind of slider paint light, so check that out if you want to, so yeah. Uh, love you all, have a great day, month, year, birthday, weekend, whatever, and make sure to take care of yourself and others.